Hello diamond friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kali Kalu on the internet and I also go by the name of Kali and I'm happy that you found your way to today's video which is another unboxing and today we are going to do the unboxing from Dreamer Designs. So it's called also well the slogan is paint with passion. So we are going to get into this just to give you a quick look of the box. So if you buy a painting from them, it comes in this kind of box where you also have like this handle, which is pretty nice if you want to transport it. Um, it makes it funny, but also easy to transport. Um, you also have like a few instructions why it's good to diamond paint. So it reduces stress and anxiety. That's something we all know, I guess. It improves your focus. It helps your fine motor skills. And it increases your social circle, which is true because you find a lot of friends through diamond painting. And it helps to sparkle creativity. And we have the number of the painting down here. Um, so that's that. You also have some instruction on how to work if you are new to diamond painting. So you find out how this actually works, what you have to do. You get everything that you have inside of it. And you have, of course, a um, link to their web page and you have a scan me. So with the scan me, you can get a redeem of 15% off and that's mostly it. So um, this is what we have here and let's take a look at the picture. I'm not going to reveal it here. If you saw my video, um, the title of it, you already know what it is. But let's just keep the mystery alive for an instant here on the real video. So if I open up the box, it's a solid carton box. And it's so fun to always like, this is my second one I unbox on my channel. I ordered a few more from them. Actually, I ordered this one with another one at the same time. But I'm just going to unbox this one here on my channel today. So we have what does come in it. So usually we have like this super nice. I don't know what it is, what tissue it is, but is it a tissue box? Like a, tush a tissue um, it's not really a box, it's more of a bag where your diamond painting comes in just to protect it from dust. And you have another protection which is this plastic baggie here. They like to wrap things, I feel like. We have another baggie, another tissue baggie for with the Dreamer Design logo. And this is our toolkit. And we have the diamond painting itself. So let me just take it out. Afterwards, I will put it back in all these like wrappings, but let's take a look at the toolkit. So what I think is fancy with their toolkit is that it comes in like this reusable bag. Um, you can use it for many stuff. Like if you want to stare, stock your um, toolkits in it, you can use it for that. But if you have like a lot of jewelry or stuff like that, you can also put your jewelry in like these baggies. That's what I like to do. Um, let's see what comes inside of it. So we have a lot of stuff with it. We have like two times this purple wax from Dima Designs. We have baggies that are pre-zipped that I use for like my kitting down and to stock or stash my drills away. We have a pen. We have actually two pens, one with this little tip here. And one with the normal tip. Does anyone know what's the difference between? I don't really know. Um, but you got two of them. You got some multi-placers and a straightener here as well. Then we have the squishies you can put on top. This makes you help if you like your finger shirt. You got like the tweezers. They're a little bit dirty, I feel like. Okay, a little bit dirty, like powdery, but... Um, it gets off pretty easily. So we have the tweezers. We have a little brush to get rid of the dirt. I think this one is super cute with the little hand. I really like this accessoire. And we have our, our really big boat. So this one is fancy. You can open it up here to put the drills out. You can divide it. You have two dividers you can put in like this. And like for example this and then you have like multiple trays instead of just one tray which is really fun so I like this idea of dreamer designs um, let's put away the 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 toolkit though um, and let's unwrap our beautiful canvas so if you have seen my first video from dreamer designs you might know what kind of diamond painting I got like there are a few artists that I really like over at Dreamer Designs and this one is one of them. Like um, 
It's actually Have I Gone Mad by Curtis Rikovich. So let's oops, put it up here and let's unroll this beauty just to see what we get. So here it is. This is the canvas. I'm going to fix it a little bit more so that it does not run away. So this is just a quick reminder um, before I go into the drills and everything. So if you see the painting like this and you see like rivers like up here or there or here, don't worry. So this is actually a poured glue canvas. You have like this transparent sheet of here. So usually this does mean that you can turn it around like you can. I'm not going to say you should be rude with it, but you can actually flatten it. You can turn it around, roll it up, roll it down and it will straighten by itself. So this is good quality. This won't cause any rivers. So this is just a plastic sheet. That's nothing more. Um, it's not the glue or the painting that is affected by it. So this is the picture, Have I Gone Mad? This is what I wanted to show you. And it's from Curtis Rikovich, one of my favorite artists over uh, at Dreamer Designs. And this is a licensed canvas, like you can see up there. Um, so they legally license all of their images. This is important if you want to support artists or if you can afford to buy legally licensed image so that this you can be sure that it won't be stolen. Uh, the design by itself is a 60 to 80 or 23 to 31 um, inches. And you have like on the top part, you have all of their social media. You can check them out. Um, Dreamer Designs is on YouTube. You find them on Facebook, on Instagram, and even on Pinterest. Uh, this is what the canvas looks like. So it's more of a thinner material. You can see that the, the picture itself is shining through. It's soft though, and it's like a little bit furry. I'm not sure if I should call it that, but it's a little bit furry, like really, really soft. And you've got these sculpt edges, which makes it easy and protects them from fraying. So this is important too. Um, if we take a look at the bottom part of the canvas, like we have the slogan, Paint with Passion. We have the logo again, Dreamer Design. And we have like our warranty. So we have a lifetime warranty on this one as well. And you have the address, should you ever email them and get some support and help from them. Um, what else about this canvas? So you see that you have two legends. You have one on the right side, one on the left side you can work with. Um, this is handy if you want to put like your washi tape around. So you always see at least one part of the symbols and what you need to know. Um, yeah, so this is what I wanted to show you. I'm going to zoom in a lot so that you can see actually the drill, like not the drill quality, but the quality of the symbols in this canvas. So this is going to be a square kit. And if you take a look at the symbol quality uh, and the clearness, it's pretty clear. So these are printed nicely and it's very distinguishable, but let's take a look at the edges because I always feel like it's the edges that are often like blurry, but I feel like here, this is not really the case. So they also put a border around, like you see, there's like this little space where you want to put your drills, which I feel is nice because this means that if you want to cut it, you can actually cut it and you still have left a little bit of a border around your drills. I did not notice that in the older one that I unboxed. Maybe this is new. I should check this out. So at least I think this is kind of nice. Sorry for the box. Um, if you want to um, cut it. So um, the drills and the drill fields are just perfect. So there is no problem with the symbols. Symbol quality is really, really good in this kit. So let's take a look um, at the drills themselves. So I know that some people have trouble reading like the symbols just because they are printed on darker backgrounds. Um, I see what they mean um, because the image looks pretty dark in general. Let me show you. Um, this looks pretty dark and I feel like it's still readable. Um, I don't have trouble with it. But I can imagine that if it's dark outside and you should read like this here, this can be troublesome. 
Um, so either you work on daylight with daylight or you try to use uh, a light pad, even though I know that this can sometimes backfire and that you even see a little bit less. So you have to try it out with your lightning, lightning, maybe lighting, maybe switch places, try to work on it uh, on a different time if you find that it's difficult to read the symbols. I have good eyesight, so I think for myself this won't be any problem. So, but let's get to the drills. I'm not going to unwrap them, but just to see, make you see that we have like a lot of drills that come in these baggies here. Um, and it's the name, it has the name of it, Have I Gone Mad? To one, to two. So you know that these come with two baggies. We have like the drills um, of a lot of different colors, more darker colors, a few clearer shades in here. Um, do we have ABs? I think we should get some ABs because if you take a look at their sticker sheet that comes with it, and this reminds me a lot of the sticker sheet from Diamond Art Club. So you have here um, the sticker with the original printing. You have the name again, start end date. You have some cute stickers you can use. Um, you have the size. What you could add is like the drills, the total amount of drills. That's something I would love to have. And we have here all of the symbols. So uh, we have upper letters, we have symbols, we have numeral symbols, we have um, mathematical symbols as well. Uh, do we have something weird? Often I find that there's nothing weird and then I find something when I work on the kit. But like at first glance, everything looks pretty fine to me. This is something though I don't like. Um, these symbols here. Like this always gets me like a bit squirmish because uh, they look the same. Like they look the same, but the background color is different. So it should be fine actually. Um, yeah, I think it's fine. They use a lot of numbers and letters, uppercase letters and a lot of symbols. So I think it should be okay though. Um, for the colors, that's what I wanted to show you. So we have a total of 69 colors included 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ABs. So we have 5 ABs um, and I have not seen them yet. Oh, I've seen the white one. So let me show you guys. So we have a white AB. This is this one. We have like this pink AB here. Uh, but we should also have some more. We have more blue ABs like lighter blue it's this color here the blue uh do we have some more we have a dark red as well so the dark red color they actually place them like this and i'm not really able to show you guys um but we have the red color this is an ab as well and then there should be a last color and this is the dark blue so we actually have dark blue, we have bright red, we have clearer red, we have like clearer blue and we have the white pinkish pale one, the rosy one. So I think this looks pretty nice so far. Uh, and the white one, so do we actually have six? One, two, three, four, five, what am I saying? We have the red one, the dark blue, the pale blue, the white one and the pink one. Yeah, so I'm right, I just can't count. So this is it and we have like two baggies of drills gorgeous so I'm really curious to see how this will turn out I'm a big fan of dreamer designs I really don't know why I got two instruction books though <laughs> okay I, I don't mind it's fun um, so this is the kit that I've got this is have I gone mad so it's an inspiration from Alice of course and the Mad Hatter I'm a really big fan of this damsels that represent Alice. We have a little mousy here. We have the cup that she's holding. We have another rabbit down here. Let me see if I can sh show you. So this is the rabbit. Um, very, very cute. I like the dress. And what I like about this is that actually Curtis Rikovic, he decided to do a female version of the Mad Hatter. Um, and putting it down with one of his damsels. This is something that I really, really like. Um, just the idea of changing up the theme, the original theme of Alice. That's something that I'm, you can get me with that like every time. And they released even more Alice related pictures. So I think that maybe next month or maybe this month, even, even I will, you know, I'm actually on a no buy or like buy 
as little as possible but i feel like with what they are currently releasing so there's going to be a lot of curtis rikovich that is going to be released and that's releasing at the moment so i feel like um i really really don't know if my no no buy will go so well this month or in the following months but I really love this kind of canvas. Let me know, guys, in the comments down below if this is a canvas that you would also like. If Curtis Rikovich is one of your favorite artists, just like mine over on Dreamer Designs. And yeah, that's it mostly. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and you got a good quick look on this beauty here. I hope you stay healthy. I hope you stay hydrated. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!